Hello YouTube, this is the Bucket coming at you today to talk to you a little bit about my vacation <clears throat> and a little bit of what I've been doing with myself the past couple of days. Um, we have had quite a crazy time in the Bucket world. Uh, as you know, my uncle passed away. I had to take my dad my family up to Chicago to be present for the funeral. And, um, you know, we had, had planned a trip uh, to see the brother bucket my older brother um lives down in the dallas area the north dallas area to be specific <clears throat> and we had planned uh the big baby the big baby bucket and the big middle baby bucket have some uh, cousins that are the exact same age so we need to go ahead and um, do our yearly trip to hang out with them they are wonderful people and they make our uh, a trip a whole lot of fun for sure and we, you know, they did a lot of fun things for us. They they took us down to Fort Worth, went to a wonderful place called Burger Lake. They are world famous. Uh, the Brother Bucket and uh, Mrs. Brother Bucket are famous for being foodies. Uh, they took us to some wonderful places. Uh, if we needed a quick bite to eat, they took us to the Torchies. They took us to a wonderful barbecue place. If you ever get a chance, if you're ever in the Dallas area and you get a chance to go to 1050 Barbecue, it is amazing. I, I just am salivating right now just thinking about it. Um, and my my brother said, let's just go to the gun range. So go ahead and bring down some of the guns. And I brought down the P7. I brought down the Steyr. And I brought down this Ruger. And he took us to a place. And that's really the purpose of this video. Uh, he took us to Armadillo gun store and range in nevada texas they gave me this sticker to put on the back of my car i may not put it there i may put it on my wall of stickers uh the proprietors of this fine establishment are jose jimenez and um austin avery now neither one of those two guys were there but Danny was and Danny is a lovely young lady and she helped me out with all of my needs uh, This is a, a full gun store. They have lots of handguns. They have lots of rifles all the kind of um, extras that you'd need to be a um, to, to, to be a gun guy in the Nevada area. It's small um, it's cozy, but uh, Danny was just absolutely amazing to us. Uh, she helped us get ready for the range. Uh, we went out to the range. They gave us a lot of targets. And we went out there to the pistol range. Now, you know the, the bucket. I'm a pistol guy. Now, she told me they have a rifle range. She told me they have a tactical range. I went ahead and I looked over those. Those are beautiful as well. But uh, me and my brother and our uh, big babies decided that we want to go do a little shooting. And we all had a good time doing our shooting at beautiful range. It was covered. It's Texas in July. They had a lovely barrel fan uh, just keeping that uh, air moving, which made it really, really comfortable. Uh, you could shoot three, uh, seven, ten, you know, all the way out there that you'd want to. But one of the really neat things that they had there is they had an on-call range officer. And in, instead of a guy playing on his phone, this range officer was out and about. He was policing brass. And he went and he saw my nephew, who was really struggling. You know, now my brother and, and my nephew, they're not gun people. They're not opposed to guns. They just don't go out and shoot like the bucket does. And he came over and goes, I'd like to talk with you. And he gave him some really great pieces of advice. And then he talked to the big baby bucket and said, you know, you're actually a really pretty good shot. But And then, and then kind of critiqued some things and gave her some really good stuff. And being a parent sometimes you know your kid just uh, does not want to listen to what you have to say but when somebody else uh, tells you some stuff uh, you're a little bit more apt to listen and um you know they improved that day and so it was neat i mean we couldn't get more than 10 or 15 shots uh, fired before he was out there policing some brass keeping an eye on stuff i felt very very safe there uh when we came back in I, I told danny you know i have this youtube channel and i'd like to to give you guys a little bit of a shout out because i think you guys did a wonderful wonderful job and she was great they do have 20 dollars uh, transfer fees uh, there if you're ever in the north dallas area give armadillo gun gun store and range a shot um i think they were very very nice looked like they had all the things you needed a very comfortable and very nice range they were very very opening and welcoming 
and uh, tell him the bucket sent you and uh, tell Danny I said hi. Um, that being said, a couple of other things I want to talk to you guys about. I had told you on the last video that this Holosun is going to be put right on top of that uh, Ruger Max. And uh, lo and behold, I find out that a 5507C will not fit on this gun. <laughs> and that's the bucket's fault. Uh, the research will tell you exactly what you need to do. But when I saw the 5507 C and the 5507K, I saw that this one had the solar panel and the K didn't. And I just assumed that was the difference. Now that's the bucket's fault. You know what they say when you assume things. Um, and that was my fault. Now, I'm not giving up on this uh, red dot. I want to run this red dot because I took it out of the package and it looked amazing. So, unfortunately, poor teacher bucket here cannot afford to go out and buy another $250 site. So, I went ahead and I found this puppy right here, the Crimson Trace 1500. And this is actually the 1550. I went ahead and took it out of the box so you wouldn't have to see me fumbling around with that puppy. And you'll get this red dot. And um, it looks like a very, very nice red dot. And I went ahead just to make sure and lined up that plate this time to make sure I wasn't running into the same problem. And I'm going to go ahead and mount this red dot on here. And we're going to uh, see how she runs see if the uh, bucket with this micro carry can um, actually get the pews to go where the pews are supposed to go. I want to, oh, f furthermore, I did want to let you guys also know that um, when I was looking for the missing piece to the frommer, uh, um, I could not find it until I went to a website and found this company called Marstar. Now, usually Numrich is going to be your best bet, but up in the Canada, apparently they're big fans of the Frommer because they had the barrel guy da, 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 that I needed. So I just got this out of the mail today. I'm going to go ahead and play around with this, get this thing all figured out, and that Frommer video will be coming to you shortly. I want to go ahead and thank you guys, all my subscribers. Um, go ahead and hit a like. Comments are always uh, well appreciated. Um, if you know somebody that's a gun person, go ahead and feel free to share this video. And you stay classy, YouTube. I learned a lesson. Never half-ass two things. Whole-ass one thing. <laughs>